آز بلا ہم نے شیتوان راجی بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی ڈیئر ویورس ہاؤ آر یو آل آئی ہوپ یو ول بی فائن ان شاء اللہ سو دس ویڈیو از اسپیشلی میڈ فار دی سی ایس ایس ایسپیرنٹس ایز وی نو دیٹ ایم پی ٹی از نیئر اینڈ سون سی ایس ایس ول اناؤنس دی ایگزیکٹ ڈیٹ فار دی ایم پی ٹی ایگزامس دیٹس وائی آئی ڈیسائڈیڈ دیٹ ٹو ڈیٹ وان ورڈ آئی ایل اپلوڈ دی شارٹ ویڈیوز ان وچ آئی ایل شیئر دی میٹیریل which will be helpful for the css mpt preparation so it's our first lecture in first lecture i'll discuss about the current affair lectures why i decided the current affairs because when we started our preparation then we come to know the most of the time students are fully prepared in the general topics like gk islamiyat park studies english maths etc but when we ask about the current affairs so their response was that we doesn't have enough data some of students discussed that that they will prepared at the end of the days or near to the date that's why i decided that today first i'll make the video on current affairs i hope it will be the helpful for the students inshallah taala after this lecture sooner or later i'll also upload the MCQs on other topics like Islamia, GK, Park, Study, English and Maths. So the first MCQs is which Iranian activist got the Nobel Peace Prize on 6 October 2023? The right answer is Nargis Mohammadi. The next one is name the country that won FIFA Women's World Cup 2023. Answer is Spain. How many new countries were invited to join BRICS at its 15th summit in Johannesburg? The answer is 6. 6 new country was invited in the 15th summit. Next MCQs. Along with Saudi Arabia and UAE, which country is investing heavily in alternative revenue to crude and gas? Answer is Amman. Next MCQs, which is so easy and I think most of us know the answer of this mcqs which country launched chandrayaan 3 the answer is india yes i was right most of us know the answer of this mcqs the next mcqs which is also related to the india and chandrayaan 3 first country to land on the south pole of the moon on 23 august 2023 is india yes india is the first country whose mission reached in the south pole of the moon before it the other countries mission only reached in the north pole of the moon next mcqs the theme of seo summit 2023 is the answer is secure turkey russia and iran to continue cooperation to eliminate terrorists in answer is syria means turkey russia and iran will continue to cooperate to eliminate terrorist in syria Next, what is the theme of International Moon Day? The International Moon Day theme is Lunar Exploration, Coordination and Sustainability. Next, MCQs. United Nations Officer for Outer Space Affairs, UNOOSA. And the world celebrates International Moon Day 2023 on. The exact answer is 20 July. 20th July is celebrated on the Moon Day 2023. Next, which country has secured top position according to the latest Henley Passport Index 2023 to have access of visa free to 192 countries? Singapore is the right answer of this MCQs. Now we will move on to the next MCQs. The US representative Nancy Pelosi is controversially in the news because of her visit to the country. Taiwan when Nancy Pelosi were visited into the Taiwan then she was highlighted on the news media coverage etc next which international association has approved the market sin crypto act the answer is European Union next which country is recently agreed to join the comprehensive and progressive agreement for trans-pacific partnership the right answer of this MCQ is UK United Kingdom Who was sworn in for a third term as a president of Turkey? The right answer is Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Next, Recep Tayyip Erdogan got vote for president oath. The answer is 52.2%. Almost 
परसेंट वोट गॉड रजब तैयब अरदवान फॉर हिज थर्ड टर्म रजब तैयब अरदगान इलेक्टेड एज प्रेजिडेंट फॉर हाउ मैनी टर्म्स ऑन ट्वेंटी एट्थ मे ट्वेंटी द राइट आंसर इज थर्ड टाइम He has been elected for the third time as the president of Turkey. Next MCQs: Iran and Saudi Arabia on 10th March 2023 reached an agreement to restore diplomatic ties after seven years. After seven years, Iran and Saudi Arabia resolved their issues, and now we will also see that till then, their relations are smooth. I hope, inshallah, it will be the more smoother. Next one is which country by court from G20 meeting held in India China the right answer is China China was a country who already by court for the G20 summit Next MCQs which team was runner up in FIFA World Cup 2022 and 23 the right answer is France The next MCQs Arab League summit 2023 was held in the answer is Saudi Arabia The next, which country Supreme Court has recently discriminalized homosexuality? The correct answer is Sri Lanka. Next, who had been appointed as U.S. ambassador at large for global women's issues? The correct answer is Geeta Rao Gupta. Geeta Rao Gupta is elected for the U.S. ambassador for global women's issues. The next, which country successfully brokered a deal and mediated the Dakar Long Saudi Iran rivalry in the Middle East? The answer is China. China is the only country who plays a very important role to resolve the issues of Iran and Saudi Arabia. Next MCQs, who has been the longest serving president of Sudan till 2019? The answer is Omar Al Bashir. Now. Next MCQs International Nurses Day is observed in the right answer is 12th May 12th May is the International Nurses Day Which city is ranked the wealthiest in the world the answer is New York The next who was the first Muslim prime minister of Scotland the answer is Hamza Yusuf Hamza Yusuf is the first Scotland Muslims prime minister Now the next one is Which country has hosted the basic plan on the ocean policy? The answer is Japan. Next, according to the 2023 World Press Freedom Index, which country has the worst press freedom? The answer is North Korea. In North Korea is the only country which is the which has the worst press freedom. The next one is Which region is considered the most dangerous for journalists according to the World Press Freedom Index? published by reporters without border rsf the answer is middle east and north africa these two regions are the worst for the press freedom and also dangerous for the journalists sorry these two re- these two regions are the dangerous for the journalists usually the journalists are killed by in these two regions which are middle east and north africa the next time secures is Which country was ranked as the best for press freedom in the World Press Freedom Index 2023? So, we already discussed the worst in press freedom. North Korea was the first in worst in press freedom, and the Norway is the best in the press freedom. Next one is, what was the theme of World Press Freedom Day 2023? The answer is shaping a future of rights freedom of expression as a driver for all other human rights. So next MCQ is which country hosted a foreign ministers meeting of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization SCO on May 4 to 5 2023 The right answer is India. Now the next MCQ is which country has recently closed its last three nuclear reactors Answer is Germany. Which country received highest funding from Asian Development Bank (ADB) in 2022? So the answer is Pakistan. Next, which country has launched one billion meals endowment campaign? The answer is UAE. United Arab Emirates launched its one billion meals endowment. Next one is who became second fastest Asian? Better to score twelve thousand runs. The answer is Babar Azam. Next MCQs: 
द फर्स्ट केस ऑफ मंकी पॉक्स इन ह्यूमेंस वॉज रिकॉर्डेड इन विच कंट्री द राइट आंसर ऑफ दिस एम सिक्यूज इज डेमोक्रेटिक रिपब्लिक ऑफ कॉन्गो नाउ द नेक्स्ट वन इज विच कंट्री हैज ब्रोकन इट्स ओन रिकॉर्ड फॉर द वर्ल्ड लोएस्ट फर्टैलिटी रेट द राइट आंसर इज साउथ कोरिया साउथ कोरिया इज ऑलरेडी मेड फॉर इट्स रिकॉर्ड नाउ दिस कंट्री इज ऑल्सो ब्रोकन इट्स ओन रिकॉर्ड एंड द फर्टिलिटी रेट नाउ इज मोर डिक्रीज रिसेंटली विच प्लेयर ऑफ न्यूजीलैंड अचीव्ड हैट्रिक अगेंस्ट पाकिस्तान इन द फर्स्ट टी ट्वेंटी मैच द आंसर इज मैट हनरी नेक्स्ट वन इज and also the last one is which country will host the 18th meeting of g20 summit in september 2023 the right answer is india so the india host the 18th meeting of g20 summit so this was the some important mcqs current affair mcqs and i think these are enough for today not for the exams not for the mpt final preparation but this was enough for the two days lectures inshallah in next lecture i'll also discuss the more mcqs we will also discuss the more topics more areas and also we will increase our knowledge with these videos so soon we will meet in another video till then allah hafiz